Okay, this is a Hayward Aqualine salt cell controller. Um, I'm going to show you how to replace the, uh, or how to solder in the uh, thermistor. Here's this thermistor right here. Uh, they call it a, uh, what do they call it? Current limiter, which is how it functions, but it's actually called a thermistor. Um, and a thermistor changes its impedance with, with temperature whether it be current temperature or outside temperature. So, uh, as you can see, I put a couple of kinks in it. Uh, you can buy them like that, or you can just do that yourself with uh, an okay set of small needle nose. Um, I put the kinks in it so that it would sit inside the holes. Um, not too far down, uh, not too far up, make it a little bit easier. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna kind of fold these back along the solder pads. Now there's a lot of uh, surface area here to heat up. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because before I, before I uh, ordered this part, I looked online and everybody's got a different way of doing it but nobody seems to know how to solder. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, it seems like a no brainer to me. So what I've done is I've basically used the kinks to hold the thermistor in place on the board. And then I just, you know, casually clipped a quarter inch remainder there. And I'm just gonna basically tack it to each pad. Now there's a lot of surface area here. I usually use a 25 watt soldering iron for this. Uh, but I think I'm going to use a 40 because just because of the amount of uh, heat sink we have here. So <clears throat> I'm just going to grab a normal 40 watt Weller. Uh, it's got a nice big fat tip on it. And I've got rosin core solder. I don't know, I think I picked this up years ago at Radio Shack, but it's definitely a rosin core. And what I'm going to do first. It's just put some of it on the, the tip of the soldering iron. And this acts as a wetting agent. So I'm gonna wet the solder. And we're done. There doesn't have to be a big nasty blob. There doesn't need to be a big giant clump of solder. We just need to, we just need to tack it to the board. And that's it that's all you need so that way when this thing fails in a year again and it will we don't need to spend a whole bunch of time removing it as you can see it's firmly mounted it's going to conduct just fine with two little solder joints versus a big giant amount so, thanks for watching.